here at Skull Hill, as Jerusalem's execution place is called, it is now mid-afternoon. And all day long, a somber procession of people has passed by a hill of death, coming to see Jesus of Nazareth. It's an awful thing to see a crucifixion. Listen for more details of this tragic history-changing news story on The Greatest Week in History. At this moment, Jesus of Nazareth is being executed by crucifixion. This is today's headline, full details of his arrest, trial, and execution in one moment. News that is news from The Greatest Week in History. Up to the minute coverage of news events this Easter week as they happened that decisive week, the final week in the earthly life of Jesus Christ. Now here is Jerusalem Broadcasting System News Central and the news. Jesus of Nazareth was crucified at 9 o'clock this morning on the hill of Golgotha, just outside the walls of Jerusalem. The Galilean teacher was nailed in place between two condemned thieves taken from death row dungeons in the fortress of Antonia. JBS newsman Joseph Ben Ezra is standing by now on Execution Hill. Here at Skull Hill, as Jerusalem's execution place is called, it is now mid-afternoon. Strange darkness has shrouded the scene since midday, and in the distance, the noise of the traffic on the north-south highway is audible. And all day long, a somber procession of people has passed by a hill of death. And even at the height of this strange darkness, they continued coming to see Jesus of Nazareth. It's an awful thing to see a crucifixion. It is a punishment invented to make death as painful and as lingering as the power of human endurance. Well, we have waited now for six painful hours. At first, the man from the cross spoke repeatedly, and some say he even prayed. It is truly one of the strangest scenes I shall ever witness. No ordinary man could die as this man. This is Joseph Ben Ezra on Execution Hill returning you to News Central. The ill-fated Galilean teacher was arrested late last night by a special force of Roman soldiers and temple guards. Jesus of Nazareth's secret rendezvous was disclosed to authorities by one of his own men, Judas Iscariot. And through the night, the Nazarene underwent sustained interrogation and beatings in a hastily convened court. By the time he came before the governor this morning, it was apparent the death penalty would be asked. Responding to a charge of treason against Rome, Governor Pontius Pilate condemned Jesus of Nazareth to death. And now, for late developments, we switch you to JBS newsman Ephraim ben Judah at Skull Hill. Here with me at the foot of Skull Hill is John, intimate disciple of the crucified Nazarene. Uh, John, how is it that you're leaving already? It's hardly more than three in the afternoon. It's all over, sir. The master is gone. Uh, you mean that he's dead? I have been at the foot of his cross since nine this morning. I heard him forgive his captors. I saw him look with love at those who cursed him and spit on him. Just now, I saw him die. Like no man will ever die. What? Uh, what do you mean? A few moments ago, when the darkness lifted, he cried, it is finished. With a shout, well, of triumph. You'd think he just won a tremendous battle. Then he bowed his head with a prayer. And, well, he just breathed out his life and was gone. You mentioned a shout of triumph. What does that mean? I need time to think. I, I don't know. I remember he once said, no man takes life from me. I lay it down of myself. And another time he told us, the Son of Man has come to give his life a ransom for many. Sir, I believe that he died up there for you and for me, for my sins, yours, everyone's. One man die for the sins of another? But isn't that impossible? Not if he is God. Now I must go. And this concludes today's newscast. This is James Ben Jacob speaking for the Jerusalem Broadcasting System, wishing you a peaceful Passover. This newscast of the greatest week in history was produced by the Mennonite Church. 
You've heard how Jesus died on the cross, but have you really thought about it? Have you really thought about what hell is going to be? You see, I'm praying that you will take each one of these songs directly to your heart. Ask yourself, do you want to go to heaven or to hell? 